Okay, so tonight we're gonna sit up there. I don't wanna put too much scent around here or nothing, but got my bait spot. That's actually sitting at about 16 yards. And then I got right at the corner of the tree over there. See where this makes a little turn. See if we can figure it out. Right in here. Okay. There you go. You're welcome. So that fix the camera. <laughs> My own camera. Camera guy is so like, bro, what's up with you? But anyway, so that's like 22 yards from there. And then right on the other side out here is about 30 yards where it cuts into the, the weeds there. So I know we got pigs coming through here. Let's see if he uh the old stand. See how it works. Okay, I got some other spots I'm gonna bait up. So let's roll. It was a nice pig, nice boar. Not sure how good a shot that was. I heard him come in from, from my side here. Shot him at 30 yards. He went out. I just heard him crash back here. I don't know what to think, dude. I think it was a good shot. I think I hit him. I'll have to look at the footage. Go see if I can find my arrow. Of course, it's getting dark, too. Let's go see what we got. Man, I'm shaking. <laughs> yep, that's right. We gotta go find him. I think I put a solid shot on him. I mean, I, man, I'll tell you what, I, I 30 yard shot, right? And I'm thinking, man, I put the 30 yard pin, I was, I was trying to go, I, I want to try to do a heart shot. To me, heart shot's the easiest to get, uh, but you're you're aiming at a target 30 yards away that's, you know, size of a, I don't know, baseball, you know? So uh, I figured, well, if I hit low, then I miss him. If I go high, I hit lungs. So for me, that's what I'm thinking. So 
It's just that when you shoot them just at dark, guess what? By the time you get back down to the truck, bring the truck up, get your gear ready, because you're filming, man. It's like, it'll be broad daylight. And then, you know, you're like 30 minutes later, you are finally got your crap together that you can get out there. So, uh, got my headlamp, got an extra flashlight, extra batteries. Let's do this. No service. That's awesome. I sent text messages out. Anybody want to help? No service. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. All right. So, can you... Oh, turn my light off. Can you guys see it? So here's the arrow. Look at this blood. Can you see the blood on that? I mean, we're talking some really good blood here. I'm gonna leave that here. So I know where I got him. And uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just walk, let's see. Got blood, 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 blood. There's blood. 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 Cool. A lot of blood. Whole bunch of blood. And you guys can see all that? Look at all this blood. Now, I seen him run into here, so I'm not really worried until I get in. Look at that blood. Until I get into here. Blood, blood. Spraying blood. Dude, it's like, look at all this. Look at all this blood. Look at this. Okay, now here's where I start to get a little shaky. <laughs> Alright, blood. Blood, blood. Okay, let's get to here. Blood. Let me get around this. See the blood right there on that leaf? Okay. Doesn't help when I'm carrying a bunch of freaking camera gear too. Blood. Oh, look at the blood on the right here on the stump, on the root. See that? Blood. 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 Where'd we go? Oh, look, blood. Look at all that blood. Blood, 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 blood. Look how thick that is. You know what? Let me get myself set up here so I don't, if he comes charging, I can shoot. All right, let's keep an eye open. Look at blood. 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 Okay, now blood. Blood. Holy smokes. Dude, you ought to see all this blood right, right there he is. Right there he is. Alrighty. So let's, uh... Dude, I think he's dead, man. I want you guys to see. You guys gotta see this. Look at the amount of this blood right here. He's got to be dead. Can you see this? Look at this. And right there he is. Let's try this. Up right here to where you guys can, can watch what happened and tell the EMTs. Funny thing, officer. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty cool. He went in after that pig. Dude, he's down. Nice pig down. What did I say? Heart set. You can't even see me, dude. Come on. Come on. Come, come, come. Come. Look at this. Yeah. 
Can you see the size of this pig? Look at these branches out of here. Come on. What am I in the woods or something? <laughs> this is crazy. Look at this. Can you see this guy? Look. Right there. Ah. Oh man. Look at the size of this pig. Can you see him? Ah. Look at the size of this guy. Ah. Dude, this is too cool. <laughs> Told you. Heart shot, that's what I was aiming for. But, you know, nothing's guaranteed in life but paying taxes and dying, so. Uh, how awesome is that? Thank you, Jesus. Man, I'll tell you what, this was, this was crazy. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, so, I sat there and what happened was, I had, uh, look like a, a tan and black pig. I heard in the weeds coming around the backside, that Christmas berry. So I got the cameras turned on and I went to grab my bow and he was, no kidding, right there on the edge. I said, what do you do? So sat there a while and then I heard something else on the side there. He scared the, the uh, what are those, Urkels. And so they flew up and landed there. He snorted at them and he took off. And I was like, I'm done, you know. It's, uh, it's almost sunset now. It's like two minutes after sunset. And I'm sitting there and then I hear, he must have come around. This must have been him. Come around here. So I turned everything on and sure enough, here he comes out. And he was like right there. And he came out at 20 yards. And then he went out to 30 and he started coming across. He didn't look like he was coming in. So I just figured, you know what? Let's take a 30 yard shot, put it on him. Thunk, and I saw that hit and it disappeared and he hauled butt. I tried to get it for you on the camera to watch him come out in the weeds over there. And well, I don't know, it must be 20 yards from the end of that forest. So he ran a good ways for spewing blood everywhere, but right on. He bought it inch and a half, inch and three quarters on his tusks. Dude, he's a heavy pig, though. Holy Toledo. Thank you, Jesus. Ha, 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 ha. That's what we do. All right. Now the fun starts. Yeah. <sighs> For the past decade, King's has provided the most realistic camo patterns on the market, engineered with lightweight, durable materials, and combined with affordability. We're building camo apparel for every hunter. We make camo that performs while keeping you concealed at a price you can afford. Hey, aloha, check them out. We're at Tacona International Airport. We're gonna do some exploring this time. We're going off island, we're gonna go to Oahu. So, let's see what we got out there. Almost, gotta get on my flight. Okay, aloha, let's pray we make it. Hey, 
Aloha, so check them out right now. <clears throat> we just got done eating it. Anna Miller's. Oh my gosh, dude. Let me get out here in the light, see me. <laughs> there I am. So we ate over here. <clears throat> if you are on Oahu and you come over to like Pearl City, Aiea, there's all kinds of places out here. We got that. We got Starbucks and Jamba Juice over there. It's all kinds of places. Come check this place out, man. Pretty neat. All kinds of neat stuff. I probably should stay in the sun. There. Hey, you guys notice these trees? Look at this. This is a type of eucalyptus. I think they call it a rainbow eucalyptus. I wonder why they call it that. Hmm. I don't know. Pretty neat tree. Okay, so here's something for you. If you come over to, the, to anywhere in Hawaii, understand that it's gonna rain. It's not, oh, I, I hope it doesn't rain today. It's when is it gonna rain, okay? So we just did some filming back here, but I figured that's something I wanna let you guys know about. Prepare for rain. Bring an umbrella, bring something, okay? Little tip. How cool is this? So they have this memorial for the USS Oklahoma. Can you see this? I think there was 437 or something like that. But look, they have, it's like marble posts for each sailor that lost their life. Look at here, there's your information on that. 429 crewmen lost. How crazy is that? We're just gonna walk down and let you see this a bit. Because this is history. This is honoring these fallen. Think about that. out it says manning the rails as Navy vessels pass through Pearl Harbor sailors and Marines stand at attention along the ship's railing and superstructure the crew's dress uniforms contrast sharply against the gray vessels the design of the of this memorial is a bold expression of the USS Oklahoma's lost crew members the symbolism incorporates Navy tradition giving life to this memorial the black granite panels suggest the once formidable hull of the USS Oklahoma, while the 429 white marble standards represent each of its lost souls. Each white marble standard is for an individual in his pristine dress uniform and is inscribed with his name and rank. Walk among the lost sailors and marines and understand their sacrifice. In full dress uniform, the ship's, crews, the ship's crew stands at attention and a display of respect and honor coming home for the final time by manning the rails. Wow. Semper Fi. Was that? Try right, guys, you're looking at history. World War II ended upon this ship, the Mighty Mo. I think this might be my good buddy back in the day, Master Chief Toby Cadwell. Back when he was a second class, I thought. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Okay, so this is what's really cool. I've got the USS Missouri right behind me. I cannot film Pearl, Har Pearl Harbor because that's a no-no. That's a security issue, okay? So if you're coming on here and you want to see this USS uh, Missouri thing, you can't just drive over here on Fort Island. Sorry, okay? I have a military ID. 
So I come over, but you could come over here on a tour. So if you got a tour that I think they go out of uh, maybe the Arizona Memorial or something like that, you can actually come over here that way and then be able to tour everything up here. Really neat, really cool. You gotta come see it. I think I had a, so I think my old buddy Jim Ottens, he retired as a, a gunny or master sergeant or something like that, I think gunny. And he was actually stationed on this ship back in Desert Storm. Yeah, so they fitted this thing with guided missile frigate stuff. This was from World War II, guys, okay? Here, I want you to see something. Are you ready? I'm gonna swing you the other way, not towards the harbor. Here we go. So right here is, let me set this down so it looks halfway decent for you. So there is the USS Arizona. That is the memorial. Okay, that's very cool, man. I've been on there before. It's uh, very humbling, okay? And so if you look, let's swing this over a little bit. That right there, can you see that? What's that say? USS Tennessee, okay? And then we're going to back you out a little bit without screwing everything up, making you sick. And we have the USS West, West Virginia right here. This is where these ships were, okay? I can't see what that one is. That's right along the Arizona. Maybe we'll get a better picture of that. Okay. So here's something that's really cool, okay? We look at it, the USS Missouri guards over the USS Arizona. That's its place there, looks great. That's the way it actually is, okay? The gun's face to protect over the top. That's honoring them. But right there is where World War II started, okay? And so if we swing around here, oh, that sun's bright. Awesome. We look and we say, right there, is where World War II ended. You got the beginning of the war, you got the end of the war. Pretty neat, huh? I know, you're welcome. So here's another attraction that's out here on Ford Island. You got the Pacific Aviation Museum. And so you got a couple of them guys. Hey, those guys are pretty cool. I was just chatting with them. Let's go in there. It's pretty neat. How's that? Yeah. So we're gonna back out of that real quick, make you sick. And we're gonna spin around here. Look at the scenery out here. So this is Ford Island. So here's the old, I guess that'd be the uh, air traffic control tower. Pretty neat. So this is some pretty neat history out here. As we look down these different helicopters, pretty much see. So we've seen the Osprey that was flying around, and that's pretty much replaced that guy, 46. And then you look on down, we got different things, some Hueys, Cobras down at the end, and stuff. And that's crazy because these Cobras aren't very wide. Look how small that aircraft is. That's pretty neat. So from that buoy, right there, you ready for this? This is the actual USS Utah.
So hey, until next time, I want to say aloha and ahoy ho. Mai ka i mai a e mālama mai. Na Jehova e kau mai i ka mālama lama o kona maka ma luna iho o wa e loko mai ka i mai a oe. Na Jehova e maliu mai a oe a e haavi mai i maluno o.